today we're going to take a look at uh, installing deck windows um, and then maybe a programming language probably basic um, maybe Fortran um, on the emulated OpenVMS on VAX using SimH so let's fire up the emulator and go from there so this is going to be uh, deck windows 126 um, so deck windows 125 had the older motif uh, let's boot the first disk here and let's hopefully this goes pretty smoothly so you know as for programming languages I you know I use C I use Fortran typically there's some interesting languages available here obviously DCL available on OpenVMS which is uh, a really interesting thing I think it compares favorably to some of the scripting languages you know some of the shell stuff in the Unix world but uh, has its own quirks uh, but there's also one a language called bliss which I'm eager to try and then there are all the classics you know things for trans C plus plus a COBOL I know nothing about COBOL you know too young so uh, let's mount the distribution CD with the override and let's head over there. So let's go over here to the motif directory. And uh, the kit directory. And here we go. So we're going to use, it's a PCSI file, so can use the product command and uh, put that in. I just accepted uh, the defaults here. Uh, worked for works for me. Um, you know some stuff if you want. You know header files and and stubs for uh, uh, for programming. Um, not a big uh, big deal, I don't think, for most people. Again, modern disk sizes. You know this has a five gig disk. You know, my my quote production um, uh, emulated VAX has you know 50 gigs of storage attached, so uh, the cost of disk is so cheap these days. I don't see why not just install everything. Uh, one of the things I think I'll take a look at as well um, in the coming videos is also doing uh, VMS 8.4 on an emulated alpha. Um, one of the problems is there's a lack of good open source emulators. There's ES40, which is kind of abandoned and has some some problems but there are freely available not open source uh, emulators available that may work so uh, so the installation is complete let's see if it works so let's uh, head back to room here and let's run the TCP IP uh, configuration to start up Telnet. I probably should have put this in, in startup, the, the TCP IP startup. But let's uh, make sure we have the Telnet server enabled. Okay. So let's start that up. And what we're going to do is, is cut, try first try to bring up a, uh, we'll first start a Zephyr window. So let's say, what do we want? I want access control off. Let's call this screen three. Okay, so we got a Zephyr uh, screen up and running. Let's see if we can tell that into our emulated VAX here. Okay, we're in. Let's just bring up a deck term to get started to see if that works. So we need to set the terminal. Yeah, set the display, I should say. And so node would be the host name. And you need transport as TCP IP. And the server, if I can spell today, equals three. Okay, I think we will have to reboot here. So let's uh, reboot this. And uh, it obviously hasn't created the devices for display. So let's log out of here and give it a reboot. And I can continue on talking about uh, 
doing some of the stuff under an alpha emulator. Uh, you won't really see any real-world speed performance, at least with the, the free alpha emulators I've used, which is MUVM, and again, just using their freely available uh, their freely available uh, kind of basic emulator. They have a more advanced one, which has some more uh, some better performance, or ES40, which is pretty slow. Um, I probably shouldn't just complain. I probably should do something about it, uh, pick up that project. But, you know, an emulator like that is a big, complicated product project. Let's go back and boot our disk here. Uh, another couple cleanup things on the emulated system here that I haven't done, which is things like setting the default boot device, uh, setting the boot flag register um, so that it auto boots up. If you're using this more production system, you would do those things. Again, tweaking um, your, your startup uh, command file. So now let's uh, go back in here and see if we can uh, start up TCP IP again. See, so I should set up, the should put the TCP IP startup in uh, the startup commands here. So let's see if we can get in here and log in a system again. And again. So now we should be able to see our display there. Now if we create a terminal, we should then see it on our emulated screen here. Okay, beautiful. We have a deck term. And so that's great. So let's get out of that deck term and let's get the uh, the login screen. So um, one of the things I discovered is XDM. Uh, using UCX, so the default TCP IP packages, and this version of DAC Windows. XDM makes the assumption you're on screen zero. So it puts the ses session manager on your screen zero. So you won't see anything, even if you're using something like this effort. If you want to run a whole X server dedicated to logging in, you can use XDM, and you can configure it there with the TCP IP config. Uh, just start up XDM. But if you're trying to do a, a nested X, like this was Zephyr X Nest, um, you will have trouble because it's going to not work unless your screen is zero. Uh, and there's ways to get around that. You could run your outer screen as a higher number and then your Zephyr is zero. But that gets a little complicated and is not kind of best practice. So that's another thing we'll probably take a look at with the, uh, the Deck Windows Alpha, which has extra stuff, right? It's 8.4. This is 7.3. So this is um, from around the year 2000, this version, maybe late 90s. Uh, version of OpenVMS, where the 8.4.1 is most recent, right? It just came out a couple um, of weeks ago. So let's fire up the login here and see if this works. So let's see. And so hopefully that will put a login screen there. So look at that beautiful compact logo. Uh, company that no longer exists, but you know, we got the uh, we got a nice logo there. So let's log in a system and see what we can see. So there is the Motif Window Manager and all of its fat bordered glory. Um, again, this is the basic ses session manager. Uh, I couldn't see anywhere where a common desktop environment was here on OpenVMS, and that may just be it's an older version. So I have to try this out on the alpha version to see if you do get things like um, like CDE, which, not that CDE is the best thing since sliced bread, but it may be interesting to play around with. So, you know, once we kind of wrap up doing this on, on VAX, but let's, uh, of course we need the clock, right? All, all good X displays need a clock. And uh, uh, what else is in the the desk set, not to be confused with deck set. Well, the message window. And this is pretty this is pretty slick. Let's get, a, let's get our calculator up here. Um, but typically what I do is I will just to my main my root um, server, so my server zero and X windows, I'll just pop up deck terms as I need them. So I'll just create a bunch of terms, 
that's typically how I work. So when I'm actually doing stuff, normally I basically just work in a lot of X terms, or I really like the XFCE terms or console um, on Linux, or you know the BSD is I use XFCE terms and or console depending on what exact features I need. So I'll just pop up a lot of deck terms as an equivalent and use those uh, rather than getting a full desktop. But this certainly is available here and pretty easy to get to. So while we have this up, let's try and launch a deck term and let's bring over uh, programming language. So let's FTP, uh, let's uh, find a directory. see where we are here. I think it's software download. Create a directory here. We'll unzip. So let's uh, alias unzip. So we're set a logical. Again, I'm sort of new to the VMS vernacular. So, so this is this is one of the things that really, you know, a couple of the quirks that uh, are interesting for me is how this process works. Um, but, you know, I'm sure I'll get used to it eventually. Now we should have unzip defined. Okay, unzip works. So let's uh, pull down the uh, programming language set. And so VMS frame in my distribution directory. And what did we say we wanted? Let's get uh, let's get basic. So one of the interesting things here is you want the dash V option to VMS, which prever preserves, uh, to unzip, which preserves the VMS file attributes. So we'll do an unzip dash V. Uh, and you have to put all the arguments in quotes. At least that's what I heard. I haven't tried it without it. But compiler underscore. So now we have what are called save sets. So what we're going to want to do is use the VMS install command. And this should uh, allow us to uh, install this versus what we saw earlier, which is a PCSI, which is more of a package. This is more just like restoring from, from backup. So this will be a little bit different, but let's, uh, let's give this a shot. So we'll do a... I think this is in sys update. Yeah. So So, yeah, we'll just have it prompt interactively. Yeah, so we want to continue. Uh, satisfied with the backups. DUA zero. And I think I just screwed that up. So I'll try that again. Yeah. And we'll just put give it the arguments on the command line. So we'll just call it we'll go three nine, and we're DUA zero, and just WDL uh, rather than asking interactively. So I think this should work. But we will see. Yeah, so I want to continue. Satisfied with the backup. Okay. So I want to perform a complete definition, a complete installation. Uh, yes, I want the, the help files. Uh, yeah. Why don't we install those? Yeah. Let's get the sample graphics program motif definitely. Yes. No. So I should have already loaded, as part of loading all the licenses for the, the hobbyist program license file, um, that included licenses for all the stuff that came with it. So hopefully this will this will go pretty quickly. And we'll be able to run basic. 
So let's go and let's see what else here is in the uh, in the, the session manager. What other tools we have? Again, I'm I, like I say, I'm new to OpenVMS Book Reader. Uh, I don't know what that is. Deck Sound probably won't work on SimH. Maybe that'll be something to try on the, uh, the Alpha em Emulator Calendar. That'll be interesting. Uh, you know, I I am kind of a fan of the Motif Window Manager. Um, I, you know, I I have mixed feelings. Uh, right now, I'm running XFCE just because this is the the quick VM Slackware VM I put up and running. You know, my favorite. Uh, window manager is TWM. If you're using a mouse and you have a lot of screen real estate, TWM is lightweight, simple, highly configurable. I love the icon manager. It is just fantastic. But Motif has some advantages. I mean, it was kind of thrown out. I guess it was who who did Motif? That was, I guess, HP and Compaq and IBM. Was the, they the OSF, OSF, Open Software Foundation. And that was kind of the counterpoint to on microsystems and AT&T who came up with open look I prefer open look uh, you know for a, a beginner it, it, it looks cleaner um, it actually had a, a definition of how things should look whereas motif maybe had eh, say the more windows like widget set uh, open look had in many ways the better uh, the better defined system and the behavior was nicer and so if just say it was the you know the the late eighties early nineties you're sat in front of a beautiful sun workstation and you get open look compare that to Mac or Windows it looked fantastic whereas Motif always looked you know it looked like they were trying to copy the the Windows uh, the Windows UI a little bit more obviously it doesn't if you see um, the action controls are a little bit different um, you know as in keeping with the Unix styling. Um, open look is really great, but again, my preference is for TWM as a window manager, uh, simply because it uh, it just works and you can configure things easily. And I don't need a whole lot of fluff in my desktop. So while we're doing this, let's bring up another deck term. Of course, we got to uh, we got to have another deck term. Okay, basic is installed. So let's try basic. Hey, we're there. So. Let's create a little basic program. See if I can remember how to program basic. Uh, this should work in any language. Um, okay, so we got that. Uh, let's see. Let's try running that. Okay, so that's how you get basic up and loaded. And all the other language packs are, or programming language, Installs are, are pretty much the same. So either be a PCSI, so a, a product, um, uh, d you know, package, or there'll be these kind of save set, or just kind of a backup that gets restored with some interactive, uh, interactive stuff. So kind of the earlier, the earlier um, iteration of what a package was under OpenVMS. So that's how to get uh, deck windows up and running on OpenVMS Vax. Uh, 7.3. Um, I hope this was interesting. Um, like I say, if you want to see something else, leave it in the comments. Uh, otherwise, probably may uh, may take off on looking at another, looking at, say, doing this on an alpha emulator next, or messing around with some other emulators, or uh, maybe I'll do a video on the TWM window manager, because it's, it's a classic that's uh, underappreciated. But uh, leave a comment if there's something you want to see. Thanks.